two, three. God damn, who he? New day, same team. Still chase, same dream. Two, three, two, three. What's up? It's Clock. You're watching Lukewarm Soda. Welcome, welcome. I am here today with Bobby Boucher. Uh, Welcome to another episode of Lukewarm Soda. Thank you all for tuning in. We took a little break with the COVID and everything. You know, there's a lot of outbreaks around the area. A lot of people had it and shit, but we're back rolling and everything. Got a couple people coming on. So please welcome Bobby. Bobby, say what's up. What up, what up? As we all know, Bobby Boucher is a DJ from Cleveland, Ohio. I've actually known Bobby for shit since we were young youngins huh probably like way back 18 18 19 years old probably around that yeah, yeah it's been like right. five six seven years whatever we were doing shows, oh, shows yeah yeah like the back fantasy fantasy and some <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, he's been God. around man but um bobby recently he's like you know around in the scene a lot recently you know what i'm saying Something like, like that you know i'm seeing bobby here and there everywhere you know he just you just got that gig in um what is that nebraska or something right yeah so it's technically it's technically two two so yeah okay. so like i'll be out there march 25th and 26th mm -hmm. so like the 25th i'm at this place called uh, it's a club called Junction nightclub which is mm -hmm. in lincoln and then the next day i'm at my dude franco spot which i can't remember which city it's in but it's like an hour away from lincoln okay so then i'll play there saturday night okay so it's just like so back to back weekend, like huh? yeah like a double hitter of just yeah. like you ever been in nebraska no <laughs> i mean shit <laughs> I, I like say it to people and they're like wait why you go in there i was like dude to play at a club like to play at some clubs they're like yeah. There's clubs in Nebraska. Right. Like, One, yeah. there's clubs in Nebraska, too. I mean, shit, I mean, anytime you can travel and go somewhere new to get new fans or something, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that at all. No, it's But dope. the point of it being in Nebraska, it's probably going to be, like, your only time going there is DJ. Yeah, yeah, it's random, but, like, the the spot the spots I'm playing at, like, Junction and Prick House, like, they get going. Like, I've been following the one spot junction for some time and like there's yeah. a lot of like big name guys that they'll bring through to oh, like really? forward and stuff that play there really really. Okay. but so it's like so uh, is that kind of how you got connected with them yeah so how it happened was like um a couple years ago forward my friend justin introduced me to uh, this guy named franco who's the owner of brick house where i'm playing at on the 26th mm -hmm. so the next day and uh he just introduced us and like we just follow each other on instagram for some time mm -hmm. and like you know we'd always chat here and there like through like the dm and like maybe text here and there and then eventually you know uh it was just kind of talking here and there of like you know would you want to like would you want to come out blah 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 i'm like yeah for sure yeah no doubt so he brought it up brought it up to the guys over at junction uh i think the general manager his name is ben and uh he like like eventually franco was like yo like you're locked in and i was like okay but i didn't hear anything and then eventually the one dude ben hit me up and he's like yo let's plan for like we booked this day back in like october really so okay. like i've just been like holding on to it yeah yeah until you know i could like say something or mm -hmm. like whatever and so he was like yeah we can't really get you in right now in the fall or like the winter but like springtime so nice. like first quarter of you know them coming back or you know bringing in some other like people from mm -hmm. out of town uh this one dude named crg from texas and like some other friends that i have too mm -hmm. so it's yeah i'm i'm pumped i'm yeah, nervous that's exciting yeah I'm that's pumped. exciting it's like you're gonna have to talk about we're gonna have to talk about fucking when you get back like what, yeah. how, what it's like out there you know yeah <laughs> I, i'm definitely interested and this is like one of my first like actual like club out of town bookings even like i think it's march 4th too mm -hmm. i'm about to go out to pittsburgh and play for the first time oh too. nice nice so like i'm thinking this year is going to be a big year of like traveling, traveling and going. getting fans from outside the city and yeah stuff. it was actually cool i posted on facebook that like when when it got announced playing in nebraska and there's like people like yo i live i live in that area no I'm, way i'm going or like what? people i think that are like maybe like a state over like yo like tagging their friends like yo we should go. We should go, yeah. So yeah. it's like to see like people, um, you know, mm -hmm. that are I guess you could say fans or whichever, yeah, like and are hip to it, you know. Yeah, they're like, yo, like let's go, like let's. 
That's what's road up. trip and go. I'm sure so. maybe some people from around here would even take the trip out. Just yeah, to, I mentioned it to some like close friends. They're like, "Shit, yeah, I think we have to buy a flight." Yeah, it's like whatever Might you want to well, do, man. Yeah, yeah. that's what's up, man. Yeah. Um, so besides the DJ stuff and all that, I want to ask you a couple questions first that I have written up. I usually do wait for it at the end, but I decided to change it up here tonight. All right. It's just like ten questions, random ones. All right. Um, so we're gonna do this, knock this out real quick, you feel me? Um, so let's see, so Bobby Boucher, if you had to pick anything, like no holding back or nothing for a dream pet, what would it be? Like a pet? Yeah, anything. Like you didn't have to worry about it, like for example, like if you got a tiger, you don't have to worry, like it might destroy my shit or kill me, Uh, it's just gonna be cool to have. Like, all the bad things, push it aside. Probably, like, a monkey. Okay. Just because they're, like, crazy smart. Yeah. And, obviously, they're very similar to, like, humans. But, uh-huh. like, even Kinda just, like... like how like, had a monkey. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, like, more so, maybe, like, a chimp. So, like, <laughs> so, like the bigger ones. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. obviously, those ones can, like, tear your face off. But, like, <laughs> there's no repercussions but like they're so smart yeah and, like that would be cool they can learn super quick mm-hmm. and like pick up on stuff so yeah. easily right facts okay so monkey chimp um what's the most underrated food spot in cleveland oh there so it's one of my favorites and uh it's called irie it's a chimp pink and spot hmm. they're slowly they're slowly starting to like branch out more, but there's a there's one over in uh, on like East Two Hundredth Street. Oh, New Play. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Irie. I R. Uh, why am I forgetting? I R I E. Mm. Irie, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't spell, but like, it's so it's so good. There's one there, and then there's one over in Old Brooklyn. Okay. But like, I get it goes between. I get the curry chicken or okay. the jerk chicken. Oh, yeah, I can go for that. And then you get okay. beans and rice. It comes with cabbage. I don't like cabbage. Mm-hmm. Not a fan. And then instead <laughs> of getting the cabbage, you get the plant. It comes with plantains, too, but you get extra plantains. Since okay. you're not getting the cabbage, and it's I could eat it, like, nonstop. Really? Yeah. And, and then you get... Fire. Then you get... All natural? Yeah. Nice. Like, That's it's it, like it's almost kind of like a Chipotle in a sense of, like, you go in, and it's just, like, the assembly line type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but okay, it's, okay. Super good. Nice. It's one of my I'll favorites. Check that out. So I re- got it. Um, let's see. I can't even read my writing. Um, <laughs> country you would live in besides here? Uh, England. 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 You have have cool. you been like out of the country before? Uh, besides like Canada. Yeah. That's I mean, it. Other than that, no. Nah, I want to yeah, go to yeah. Europe and like travel around. Go yeah. To, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Go nice. to England. Go to like Sweden. Mm-hmm. And, like, do you have your passport? No, I no, I messed up when mm-hmm. I went to go to Canada. I got, I should have just got a regular passport, but I just sped it up and just got the passport card so I could uh, go to like, Canada and like Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why I just should have just. Got my yeah, passport. I got to get my passport too to go yeah. out of the country. Definitely want to do that at some point, if we can. Oh yeah, right. Facts. With all this <laughs> shit going on. Um. So if you weren't a DJ, what would you be doing? What would you be doing? I don't even know. You don't even know. You no. just had, just Somebody had asked set. me that. I was like, I do. I don't even know. <laughs> I like. I said before, like, if it wasn't like music related or like DJ, like, there's n- there's never been like a backup plan. Yeah, it's it was just been, like set on it, and then he it's stuck been music. With it. Yeah, That's it's been up. music. Okay. Not, respect, yeah. Until like the pandemic hit, then I was like, maybe maybe I should kind of because <laughs> you know that was like the main thing that shut down and like yeah you you're in you're in a public space around people like that's what drives that market mm-hmm. for for it to shut down and just yeah so that was probably kind of a hard time huh yeah definitely put me in like a depressive slump mm-hmm. to where i was like okay what do i do now yeah like should i continue to try and do this or like should i find something new mm-hmm. i'm already like put eight years to nine years of my life into this like yeah. now what do i do so no yeah like basically it's all back and stuff you yeah know? and basically coming up on february is like year 10 Ooh, so 10 year anniversary nice decade in that's crazy yeah how old are you now 25 25 okay 26 in february yeah so 15 16 okay yeah nice yeah hell yeah um what is your favorite artist that you're listening to right now Currently, I'm hooked on the new 
Oh boy album. Okay, okay, yeah. I like as soon as it came out, I put it on when I was at the gym, and I was like, Yeah, that that shit's hard too. He he was spitting on that man. He's got some hard features. It's like a good versatile because like he'll have like the hard like street stuff, and then there's uh-huh. like actual like other stuff with like more of a deeper meaning to where he's you know talking about just like more personal stuff mm-hmm. besides like every like all the up in the hood yeah right right but i I like it a lot like i listened through and i was like there's not a song in here i don't like Mm -hmm. so uh, to that i've been listening to that and then uh what else a lot more of like the new like kind of the rebirth of like all the pop punk stuff Mm -hmm. so like stuff like that or just getting back into like super like heavy metal stuff okay yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, kind of all Yeah, over. the new Doe is definitely hard. I picked it and listened to it a couple times. It's it's not like his old stuff. It is, but it isn't. You know what I'm saying? There's a different kind of feel to it. And yeah, then like, yeah, exactly. Like you said, too, like the features are all like on point. Mm-hmm. There's nobody that's like, I was like, ah, I don't like that verse or mm-hmm. like anything like that. Like the song with uh, M- Moneybag Yo is yeah, fire. And that shit's hard. Mm-hmm. Heavy Face Ray, which I've never like listen to him much yeah i don't listen to him that much either i just know a couple of my friends actually listen to him and they really fuck with him heavy yeah but he's hard yeah um yeah the whole yeah. project's solid so what's up oh really uh, <laughs> oh really um are you a airpods guy or a corded earbuds guy airpods yeah no doubt. but same but let me ask you this do you which ones do well did you you have them both, like the first gen, and then now like the pros. Um. Yeah, I just actually got new ones. So Which, I had the first ones. Now I have the, the pros. Yeah. Which you like more? Honestly, the first ones probably. That's what I said. Yeah. I like I like how they fit more, but then like you can't beat the noise cancellation on the right. new ones. Exactly. That's the only thing I like about them. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, like if I'm at the gym or wearing them for not even that long, they start to kind of like hurt a little bit. Up. Yeah. Not even hurt. I think the yeah, maybe I like think the first annoyance. gen ones hurt more and then like these ones they just fall on my ear quicker. Mm, okay okay but yeah yeah i sometimes don't from the first ones i sometimes don't even notice like them being in my ear still yeah like i once sat down to get a haircut and i had them in and the but my barber asked me he's like hey you're gonna take those take out? out i'm like oh shit yeah, i didn't sorry, know my bad yeah <laughs> exactly yeah they just were like they were more comfortable yeah in yeah. some ways it was just like not irritable in some way but i mean they're earbuds regardless yeah, like, they're at the end of the day but <laughs> it's the job done. yeah um what has been your favorite place to dj so far i think it kind of it always kind of changes but one i'm like really hyped on still every time is um a night john boy mm-hmm. so like yeah we were like, just talking, yeah, about, like we were we just talking about it but mm-hmm. it like something about it the fact that it's like it's a majority of it's older 70s 60s maybe some 50s all the way to like some modern stuff mm-hmm. but the fact that like the old 70s stuff can like get people as hype as like a new song would yeah you know or you know, they're just on, classics like, you know yeah like songs that have literally whisked withstood the test of time from mm-hmm. like our parents to like us right. and younger now yeah to where it's like it's reached so many generations and is continuing to to and where like, like anytime point, that song comes on like yeah it like gets people going dude you just like i'll just cut the song and everybody in the place is just screaming and singing it like, <laughs> like the last time i played last saturday um i was playing sweet caroline and yeah. just like just to cut it and you see everybody just sing it. It's yeah, like just, uh, yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. And like in there, there's such like a wide range from people that are freshly 21 to like your parents or even like your grandparents. Yeah, I've seen there. some older people in there before, you know. Yeah. Like, it's it's a, that type of vibe, like the energy. It's not like, it's not even like clubby, you know, like yeah, that it's, type of thing. It's just high it's energy. A, it's a didn't it? It's a different atmosphere, and for it to just be just a cohesive thing of, like, everybody to be there yeah. and just, like, love that music and, like, even for, like, the older people to have the nostalgia of, like, they grew up with that and mm-hmm. now, like, we're just ones that, like, appreciate it now. Mm-hmm. Right. Or, you know, see it for, like, in a new way to where it's, like, still cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fuck with that. That's why, I, yeah, I really like John Boys. I like the vibes in there. I've been telling people that, like, just go in there and just... 
Yeah, just, it know, definitely it can get it can get like crazy and like overpacked sometimes. Yeah. To where it's like holy shit. Yeah, but, I've been around that too. But most of the time, it's always like fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, might stop in the night. Um, let's say, what's your favorite food? Period. Like, you haven't eaten six days. What are you starving for? I mean, it would definitely be sushi. Sushi. Like, yeah. yeah I, I rock with sushi. I never like it's it, it like never gets old. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Like there was at one point like a couple months ago, I had it like probably almost an entire week. <laughs> like literally just boom. What's your boom, favorite boom, boom. sushi? Um, it can be anything, whether it's rolls or just like nigiri or um even like the crazy. Sp- specialty ones mm-hmm. but like i'll eat it all whether it's just like any type of fish if it's squid shrimp yeah. have you been yeah, uh which sushi place i think it's in parma the cantero or whatever oh wait can and the hot the sushi and hot pot or whatever, Kintaro, oh, whatever the hell. yeah 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 i went to the one that's over in uh near rocky river or rocky like river that, right yeah. It might, that might be it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know, but yeah, so. I've gone there. It wasn't bad. There's actually, I thought you were going to say, there's like, in Parma, there's this like little like hole in the wall spot, mm-hmm. like super low key, but it's like the sushi's like pretty like cheap, but it's good. Yeah. And like, it's like, I can't remember the name of it, but the place, like me and my one dude, uh, Mitch went there the one okay. time and like, it was just like. Yeah, I can go for good sushi at any time. Yeah. yeah. I've had some good sushi. I had really good sushi. When I was in um, San Diego, they had Where'd fire sushi. Sorry, sushi, sorry. Um, sushi. Where did I go? Uh, I don't even remember the name, dude. Yeah, there was, um, even when I was out in Vegas, like, uh, me and some friends, we went to Catch, which, like, mm-hmm. there's one in Vegas, there's one in New York. Yeah. But that was pretty good, too. Yeah. I wanted I to try nobu at some point but i know it's like super pricey there's one in like la it's like right on Mm -hmm. like right on like uh i think it's uh where's it at it's um the on the pacific highway like off there but it's like right on the beach like you just see the ocean and like but it's like hella pricey okay okay. i think even like like a piece of nigiri is like 50 bucks Ah. it's literally just like the fish on rice (laughs) it's like i don't know man yeah i mean it's gotta knock it out once at some point at some point but it'll yeah. happen yeah for sure um what is uh your best vacation spot that i've been to so far or yeah. this like or uh i recently back in october i went to denver for the first time and that was sweet i've heard denver's nice i haven't been there yet yeah i like i went for the uh mgk show but i got some uh i got a friend out there from college so like i was staying with him like like before the show Mm -hmm. but like uh like he like went to work the one day and i was just like like riding around going to different spots Mm -hmm. like the like show was at red rocks but so i went there like earlier in the day and was just like walking around because it's literally i don't know if you've seen it but it's just a full outdoor venue holds like ten thousand people. Really? It's just in it's in like the like mountains and mm-hmm. it's right in between just two massive rocks. Really? It's all just natural. The stage is just wide open and you just have like layers and layers of seats all the way to the top and it's like wow. insane. Is that where MGK performed? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So like and he That's sold sick. it out too. Nice. But so it was like getting to walk around there, like during the show and like before and then just seeing, like, the mountain ranges in the background of everything. Because I Hell guess... sweet. Hell yeah. I didn't really know. I guess they're, like, pretty particular about, like, when they go to build, like, new buildings there. Because mm-hmm. they don't want to obstruct, like, the view of, like, the mountains. Yeah, yeah. And, like, really want to preserve it. For sure. So it's... Colorado is sweet. I liked it a lot there. And then, uh... I like Chicago, too. Yeah, Chicago's dope. I've been there multiple times. Yeah. I always can go for Chicago vibes. Yes. So, yeah. Same with L.A. Colorado, yeah, LA is for sure. Um, Colorado, I definitely got to get out there. I just, I, you know, it's just. I would recommend it. I ran it, uh, sure. dude. It was wild when I was out there for that. There was it was like the convergence of like Ohio and mm-hmm. like Cleveland people. I think at least like twenty different people from here were there at the really? same time. Not even just for the show; they were just out there. Yeah. So like, I ran into uh, Willet and uh, <laughs> uh, who was he with? Was it Joe, Pre? Maybe. Because they went out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. And then, like, it it was just, like, literally, like, 20 different people. I was like, dude, what is happening? Oh, yeah, yeah. He did actually tell me that when he was out there. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, like, dude, like, it it was just, like, the perfect, like, convergence of Uh everybody. 
Like, I just That's ran funny. into so many different people, all, like, from all around the area. And I was like, okay, this is kind of wild. Yeah, it's, it seems to happen that way whenever you travel in some sort of way. Well, yeah, it was cool, too, because, like, the day of, I, I go to the airport. I think my flight was, like, kind of early. So I get there, and uh, um, I'm sitting there. Like, I take, like, a, a like a IG story of, like, the sunset or whatever, or yeah. the s- sunrise in the airport. <laughs> And my one dude, James, uh, he's like a singer in, uh, I think it's trombone. He plays in uh, the band uh, Tropidelic. Mm. And um, he was like, yo, like I'm at the airport right now too. I was like, oh no shit, like which gate are you at? And he's like, it was like see whatever. I'm mm-hmm. like, wait. I'm at that gate too. <laughs> so then, like, he like comes walking over, and we're sitting there talking. He's like, "Oh yeah, dude, I'm about to go out to Denver." Blah blah blah. He ends up, he's sitting right behind me. No way. On the flight. So then we both get there, and then like we're just kicking it. We end up hopping on like the train to go downtown, mm-hmm. and like we get some food, and like the whole time we we're just like hanging out. But like the coincidental nature of it is just how it all kind of sparked and started. Yeah, and right, I was right. Like, Damn. Then as I was just posting stories out there, like multiple people are like responding, like, "Yo, are you in?" Colorado? I was like, yeah. Oh, same. Me too. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm like, what is happening? Jeez, that's weird. That's, yeah. That's awesome, though. It was sweet. That's cool. Definitely. Um, let's see. I think I got one more for you. Um, which one did I leave off at? Are you uh, more so of a Twitter or Instagram guy? Uh, probably Twitter. I mean, I fluctuate between both, but mm-hmm. Twitter just... We'll always have more attention. There's more, like, funnier stuff. Where There's Instagram's... more, yeah, Twitter's more funny, and, like, I feel like shit can get out there more, as in, like, oh, that just got retweeted, I'm gonna see it now. Yeah. Shit you don't expect to see. Instagram's just, like, yeah, it's more direct more direct. what you're looking at. A little more professional, so yeah. it's just, like, it's always, like, the same kind of right. deal. Twitter just has ridiculous shit all the time. Yeah, like, you always, I always see something new that every day yeah you and know. like the memes and stuff and like something happens on tv or something yeah like, like you instantly already you're gonna know see about that on it. twitter in two seconds yeah you make you'll see it on something. there before instagram yeah every time it, twitter's a different it's fucked like it's the only thing that's like remained like consistently good yeah <clears throat> to where like instagram it's like kind of like gone up and down yeah there's been issues with instagram and then they fix something and then they take something away or something yeah some or like they that. just do something else that's, i always think about sense. it twitter dude like if our parents saw and like just got involved with twitter say they took over our account just logged in with our accounts and saw the shit that we see every day. Oh yeah, it would be nuts. Like <laughs> yeah, just because it's such like a wild place, you can see. Yeah, and we're so used to it because it's like you know we grew up, we got Twitter, you know when it first came out. Yeah, and eventually like it turned into what it is now. Yeah, you're almost like desensitized to it at this yeah, point. I mean, right. I've been on Twitter since I think 2011. Yeah, so yeah, like... something like that. Like way back <coughs> then. But yeah. It's crazy to think about shit like that. Yeah. But um, let me just check on this camera, make sure we're still good and rolling. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so talk about, like, as you're DJing over the years, like, obviously you've made some relationships and shit. Yeah. Um, one that caught my eye the past, what, six months, last six months was um, when MGK was at the yeah. 27 Club. Yeah. And he was playing music with you or whatever, and y'all were bobbing your head at the same uh, time. Yeah, yeah. That shit was fire, dude. That shit was <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. So, I mean, like, go out, branch off that, like, what kind of um, relationships have you created with, like, you know, big artists or, like, people in general. Yeah, um, so, I mean, obviously, like, I think the apparent one and one, obviously, everybody always kind of, like, brings up is that one with him. Yeah. And so, I mean, it all kind of happened pretty, like, organic. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been, like, a fan of him for, like, years. Yeah, like, right. I saw him, like, before he got signed, like, at House of Blues mm-hmm. and stuff way back. And, like, from that point, like, I was a fan. And I met him that night, too, after the show. Nice. Um, but since then, you know, always followed it and was like, you know, about it. And then eventually, uh, I was DJing at Harley on like a Wednesday, and it was like the week before, like one of the Xmas shows at uh, that was gonna be at the Wolstein, mm-hmm. and like him and all the dudes just came in, 
And eventually, like, we just ended up having, like, a conversation for, like, 10 minutes, something like that. And, like, it was super organic. And he was just, like, keep, like giving me some props in the moment, but then also just saying, like, um, I'm trying to remember, man. It was, like, <laughs> he was just saying, like, you know, like, uh, people like us or whatever, like, you know, for the future of, like, taking music to, like, a different place or, like, um, I'm trying to remember. I might be, like, in pelishing this like crazy or saying like the wrong thing it no, was just something along those yeah. lines to where it was like you know like w- like we see like eye to eye on like music but so from that point on it slowly is like built to where then like um i ended up doing like his festival a few mm-hmm. times and then like even from that like we've we've had interactions yeah that festival and, out there is fucking awesome yeah it's crazy you know, it's, and so just giving me props at that point too there's like one of the times like I, like we were talking after like one of the pool parties and he was like yo man like every time like i see you play like you play stuff that i forgot that i even did yeah like stuff like that and so just like it, like lasting moments to where it's like stuff that like will st- like stick yeah like with he them. remembers that like yeah that, you know and like he's one of the people to where like if he meets you and everything like he doesn't forget like right like a face or like yeah, a that's name that's what i've heard he's like a real like laid back dude yeah real so, dude means what he says yeah shit like that so now so now it's like slowly m- morphed into the point where now like uh at 27 club i knew from the start they were like wanting to do like late nights mm-hmm. so i was they hit me up to do like the first one and like consistently it's been like that or any like special events sick that they've had there or anything like they hit me up so like the most recent time yeah uh before this last show that he had um at rock and mortgage they just hit me up um originally it was just gonna be like a private event and then like uh it turned into just a public thing Mm -hmm. and then he was just there chilling and then like at one point he came up and he was just like searching songs on my laptop like here play that play (laughs) play that i was like all right and it went from, like, everywhere from, like, Bone Thugs and Kid Cudi and his stuff to, like, Britney Spears, Backstreet <laughs> Boys, and, like, Young Thug, yeah. and, like, Migos. Like, it was just all over the map. Mm-hmm. And then, like, uh, he had sent me, um, like, previous times, and, like, that time, too, he had sent me, like, some, like, unreleased stuff. He's yeah. like, here, just throw this on and see what happens. And, like, so then, like, just playing new stuff that he's, like, either that's going to come out or, like, whatever... So, it's just slowly built into, like, a cool, like, relationship yeah, to where, yeah. like, you know, there's good like mutual he knows respect. You got, he knows you got the love for music. He knows that you rock yeah. with him before. He knows that you got bangers on the laptop. Yeah, like, yeah. I, like, I know you got bangers on yeah, the laptop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, there's fucking DJs out here, no names or anything, but, you know, they play, like, they probably have the same shit, you know. It's, like, yeah. boring, you know. You know, like, what they're going to be playing if they're there or something. But, yeah, I feel like with you... You got like the throwbacks. You got the new shit too. Everything, like, yeah. You know, you you're in John Boys playing throwbacks there. You got shit like you know <laughs> what I'm saying like I've heard like some old Drake. You know what I'm saying like shit yeah. like that. Like where it's like All you hear it, you're catching a vibe right away. Yeah, yeah. But so yeah, like with him, it's I mean, so there's like that relationship with him, or mm-hmm. like even like. Um, how I said with that one dude Franco mm-hmm. of how like I met him yeah like, that's a good connection like three years ago and now it's like turned into like cool I'm getting this like kind of like this first like real yeah. out of state you flying out in the middle of the country club gig yeah from him uh-huh. so like that was just like a little like lasting relationship and then like uh I don't know man it's just you know you build good rapport with people over the yeah, years yeah and, you I mean know, you, you're plugged with all the clubs down here you know you yeah pretty much DJ or wherever and even like it's something as simple as like you know if you see it's like somebody's birthday or something mm-hmm. like that you know i'll make the effort to like reach out to them right. you know if i got their number or if we follow each other i'll reach out and say happy birthday Thanks. this is like you know a genuine thing not even just be like oh this is about to give me like like yeah yeah that i mean that's the first line of business with everything's got to be genuine if you're just doing things to, yeah like you know do shit like what you were just referring to, like, oh, he's just gonna get me plugged in, fuck. Yeah. Nah, it's gotta be genuine first, and then it comes along and everything else. Yeah, and, like, when you do little stuff like that, man, it's just, like, you know, it's just, like, you're taking your time out to do it, especially for something like somebody's birthday, whichever, but, like, I don't know, it's just, like, a nice little thing to do, Mm -hmm. man, you know? It's celebrating somebody's life, so why not just show them, like, a little bit of support yeah. you know being a good person something like that, that can hard. stick with them yeah being a good person ain't hard you know yeah. 
That's what comes first. Yeah, if you if you like actually have to try to do it, then like you're tuning for the wrong reason. Yeah, it's exactly. not just like flowing like right. naturally how it should. Then mm-hmm. you know you're. That's I don't what's know. Up. Yep. Facts. 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 One hundred percent. Yeah. Um. What was I gonna say? I had something on the tip of my tongue. We were talking about relationships with DJs, but you know, obviously you got relationships with the clubs and stuff like that. So I yeah. mean, like. And back to playing bangers and stuff. So like, when I see Bobby's DJing somewhere, and I'm planning to go out that night, like I'm stopping in, like yeah. regardless, because not only I'm trying to say what's up and shit, but you know I know like you're playing something that's gonna be hard, you know. Yeah. And it's always something new where he's like, oh, he really played this. Like that's that's tough, <laughs> you know. I I think you tweeted this morning about uh, you were trying to mix some different shit in or something. Yeah. You play like um. I, two three yeah with, uh, miley cyrus yeah yeah and, and miley cyrus and shit like yeah yeah with mike will yeah so i don't know it's I, like obviously like i'm playing so much and like playing a lot of the same mm-hmm. venues and, and sometimes it can get kind of monotonous of like playing the same stuff because yeah. you know there's go-to stuff that'll always work oh yeah you gotta have like the main ones like you know they're, they're just club songs yeah because like if you play too new with stuff or some stuff that people don't know sometimes i don't know yeah, yeah. it's a weird reaction now where people get kind of scared mm-hmm. and then they'll just stop dancing mm. instead of like you know yeah you gotta weigh it yeah but so i like I guess it's like to not go too left field or whatever. I kind of want to bring back stuff that I usually, maybe I'm not always playing. Maybe other people are like mm-hmm. still playing it. But so bringing stuff back like 23 by Miley Cyrus, mm-hmm. doing that or like. Yeah, like I mean like shit like that. Like people know that song. Yeah, yeah. But they just haven't heard it in They like just haven't time. heard it in years, you know. Yeah, so it's like that or like Fireflies by yeah. like Owl City. Yeah, like, like I recently heard like another DJ on a podcast that I listened to. He mm-hmm. was like talking about like how he plays that and it goes crazy. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, like the last few months, like I like incorporated it back before hearing that. Yeah, and, like to hear him say that, I'm like, okay, cool. So like, I'm not the only one that's kind of thinking like this. What was the reaction when you played it? Uh, it's usually been good. Like yeah. you just see like everybody like wait, and then like once like it hits, everybody like you know, uh-huh. they'll sing the chorus. And they'll like, sing oh the... wow! This yeah, is it, it's it, it's like a nostalgia moment because mm-hmm. even in that same podcast, they were saying like you know, when that song came out, you know, like for us, like we were young when that came out, and now like we're the generation that's like in the club now. Right. So it's like that's like our throwbacks yeah. now, or even like the young jocks and stuff uh-huh. like that, like. Those are like throwbacks for a lot of people, but you know, I remember seeing the "It's Going Down" music video <laughs> on MTV nonstop. Yeah. So now to like that shit was on the radios when we were like. Yeah, everything like eighth I just grade and shit. Remember seeing all those videos like just going back and forth, or or like the "Snap Your Fingers" video. Yeah. Like I just remember seeing that like all the time on MTV mm-hmm. and just like. Yeah, like those songs were like played like the. The middle school dances and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so now it's like, now that we're all out in the club, like, I don't know, some people call it yeah. corny or like, you know, it's like old stuff, like, let's hear new stuff. But it's like, I mean, you gotta, like, a lot you of gotta it, mix it, but yeah. you gotta keep it, you know what I'm saying? Shit that people know. I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. There plus, is people that are super stuck on, like, Oh, uh, this isn't fucking 2003 anymore. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm but it's like, I, it's like, it's mean, like, dude, <laughs> the stuff from 2003 is holding up. Better than like any yeah, of the stuff. Yeah, like I mean, that's a classic. Like it's like, like in John Boys, you're playing something from the seventies, from the eighties. Like yeah. it's just like, timeless music. Yeah, like if that's holding up more than like mm-hmm. you know, like if I was to be in there and I played like a new rap song, like mm-hmm. it wouldn't have the same effect no, as like know. whatever else. But it's also obviously the different vibe and mm-hmm. stuff. But like it just wouldn't have the same effect. Yeah, you right. Know? Mm-hmm. Um, one thing, one song that I. Fucking, I hate when it comes on in the club. It's uh, Bottoms Up. Oh, really? I'm so sick of hearing that shit. <laughs> I, lo- I hated it back then. And, like, for some reason, I hear it so much. People play it. I don't know. I mean, it's a club song. I feel it. Yeah. But Bottoms Up, Bottoms Up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. man, like, come on. <laughs> yeah, no, there's that's, definitely that's some. That's the only one where I'm just like, ah, oh, come on. There's definitely some where I'm like, all right, maybe like not this one, or I'll try yeah. to hold off. But if I needed it, I'll just you know, yeah. I'll so do it. so when you go and DJ, do you like, um, like, do you have like specific songs going into the night, or do you kind of like have them different folders and shit? Like, so each time, like it varies. Like no sets are the same. There might be similar like transitions. Yeah. 
or the same transitions here and there, but like the order of the songs is always different, mm-hmm. so it's feeling out the vibe of it. Yeah, I'll go in of like, okay, I just downloaded this. I want to try and play it and see how it does. Yeah, or like, so you, you just know. like add it in to yeah a and previous so, one, and then I kind of take something out. Yeah, add so this and that. I just have like one like big folder to where it's like it's called like my mainstream folder. Yeah. So it's stuff you know everybody knows, everybody like you know should like mm-hmm. or you would think that they would like. Like a mix of like you know pop, pop rock rap everything edm whichever yeah. so just everything across the board to where i'm like okay i know if i play this it should go off right and obviously i have to constantly rework it so but i'll just add it in there mm-hmm. and then like just kind of feel where the night yeah. flows and, and then like as time read. goes on like the the new bangers that come out that you're hearing yeah all the time like stuff like, like that because even like uh i played uh pushing pee like <laughs> like like a few weeks ago at ivy like yeah. i think like the week it came out or mm-hmm. something like that and like wasn't much of a reaction yeah. so i'm like okay maybe it's just not there yet or maybe yeah. you know people just it's a it's an okay song it's like the popular one right now yeah because it dropped but i mean people i don't know if people like listen to like it's that yet it's in a way it still hasn't I don't know reached I, like like a good peak yet to I like think the it mainstream. Has time, but even like song like yeah. "Way Too Sexy," yeah, like you would think it would kind of always go off, but mm-hmm. it's always kind of like hit or miss. It's yeah. not like uh, you throw on "Work" by Ace mm-hmm. Ferg and it's like guaranteed. Yeah, that's, like you that's know a, that one's gonna hit. Yeah, every time. Yeah, mm-hmm. but so it, it's just like it's it's a game, and you're just reading people every time. Yeah. Like that's, so when you play a song, you like you kind of like. Look at the crowd, kind of just weigh it out. Yeah. Take mental notes. Yeah, yeah. It's literally just like thinking on, like, like literally what's happening in the moment is like, mm-hmm. okay, I just transitioned into the new song. Okay, look around. Are people feeling it? Okay, cool. What could I go into next, huh? Look back, see, like, yeah. if it's still riding good. And this is all within, like, seconds. Like, mm-hmm. like this could be in, like, a 10 to 20 second, like, time span. Yeah. Of, like, boom, okay, look, check, 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 scroll, scroll, nope. Look around, like, mm-hmm. looking from, like, the people that are right in front of me to all the way in the back. Yeah. People are, like, standing at the bar. Like, it, it, it's a deeper science than just, like, playing some music. Of, yeah, like, and that's what like, I always looked at it like that. Like, I, I, it's it's a job, one. Yeah. And two, you got to do it right or you're not going to get the gig. Yeah. And obviously, for you, you've grown so much from when you first started to where you're in with all these clubs. So, obviously, you're doing something right. Yeah. And, you know, you get the crowds going, you got the bangers, everything. Like, you, there's different things. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's an art, in a way. Yeah. It's, yeah, it, it, it goes deeper than a lot of people want to give, like, the credit to. Facts, yeah. Obviously, they only see, like, the surface level of it. But, yeah. like, it and goes... And you got people looking, can you play this, please? Yeah, yeah. Or, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, here, I have it on my phone. Can you just play it? It's like, <laughs> like, no, this is not how this here, works. Yeah, plug it in real quick. <laughs> yeah. Or just, like, the, the overall knowledge of, like... People who don't, like, I don't know, they don't know music outside their own no, no. Bu- bubble. So it's like what I said of, like, Clay, I had tweeted about this because I just thought it was funny. But there's, like, a, I was playing somewhere and I played uh, Work It by Missy Elliott. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know, it's like a classic, you mm-hmm. know, you know what I know it. But then, like, I played it and this dude, like, comes up and says, like, looks at me like, yeah, they don't know this song. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, like just vibe out man. yeah just, well just like let it play and i'm sure the next song or whichever is going to be something you know she so just said now you do yeah You're listening to it now yeah like something i don't like know that. it's just going to blow up on tiktok at some point and then then he'll come back and yeah oh. that's just annoying dude i love this song <laughs> uh, okay yeah that's hilarious yeah whatever. um that's uh, but it yeah is. i mean there's nothing better than being in the club got some drinks in you and then like you know a good song comes on and you're just vibing to it like what's a good one like last night um what came on for free by drake came on yeah you know, i know the whole song you know killing it one one somebody i forget where it was i think it was in california um they played best i ever had drake in the club, you know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's fire. You know? like, yeah. but, like, I love Drake. You know, yeah. any Drake song that comes on, I'm vibing yeah. to it. But, yeah, it's like... Instantly. Just, like, the 
the world of music is so big. You know, a lot of people aren't hip to some shit. Yeah, I mean... Um, not even just, like, you know, there's people that only listen to what's popping. Like you said, TikTok and shit. Yeah. Like, oh, like... Now, now I like it because it's fucking nah. Sarah. That's thirteen made a TikTok and has three million views. That's that's a banger for yeah. sure. I gotta hear that. Well, but, yeah. I mean, even like I was listening to like a, a TJ mix like the other day, mm-hmm. and then like there was like this uh, Tide Halasine song I never heard. So then I let it, like I shazammed it, looked it up. The song's from like twenty sixteen. What is it? Um, where? Mm, I think I'm hit. It's like it's, the three. Was it off his, uh, marks. Uh, it, it was off a. Of, um, hold up, I, I, I can just tell you real quick. Just cause. Was it off the, um, the his album? Uh, it was then? off a. Of the uh, campaign album. Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. So I like heard that in the mix. I was like, yo, what is this? And like I searched it up, and I was like, oh yo, like just fire yeah so like i you know i'm still constantly finding stuff that's mm-hmm. like whether it's new or like older like that to mm-hmm. where it's like wow this is yeah good. for sure that's kind of how like i i put together that playlist on spotify it's a lukewarm soda one and it's got old shit so when i have parties and stuff i just shuffle it and it's got bangers from back then bangers from now i just yeah. add to it like all the time like hear a song add it or i, I was even in the club a couple times like in the past, I hear some that I didn't even hear before. Just add it quick right onto this playlist, you know, because yeah. it's hard. But, yeah. Um, so, I mean, we could pretty much wrap it up. Uh, getting towards the time. Is there anything else that you want to talk about? Uh, anything not else that, you want to say? Not that I can really think All of. All you got to know is, like, if you're going out in downtown Cleveland, look at the set list of where Bobby Boucher is going to be at. Pull up. Let him know that I sent you. (laughs) (laughs) Drop the name at the door. Yeah, drop a name at the door. Bobby Boucher, wherever he's going to be at, it's going to be going down. Um, But yeah, Bobby, thanks for having me on. Or having you on. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Bobby, thanks for having coming on. I'm glad you came to your apartment (laughs) to come on to your podcast and be here with me. (laughs) <laughs> Thanks for coming on though. Like no, this has been Thank long you for having me. For sure, I've always wanted Bobby to come on. Um, shout out to everybody tuning in. Keep subscribing, liking, and everything. Lukewarm soda out. Peace.